and welcome back to another All Heart video. Today I wanted to talk about Grappet toys. If you guys were here during my What I Got My Kids For Christmas, you will remember that I decided to purchase some Grappet toys for my kids. And this was the first time that I was going to be introducing this brand of toys to both of my children. Now, loose parts was something that I had already introduced to my children, but it was more in the form of like marbles, pebbles, rocks, shells, sticks, feathers, leaves. Um, it was a lot more, I guess you can say Reggio oriented. And um, it was something that we always, always loved. And it was something that I stressed for my children to be able to play with and kind of use their imaginations in that way. Now, when I heard of Grappa Toys, I definitely wanted to try to incorporate some of those into our home and see how they would work out. So I wanted to give you my thoughts, my reviews on the items that we have collected since then, and also give you some ideas of different ways that you can incorporate them into your curriculum and just different ways for your children to be able to engage with all of these materials and loose parts. So with that, let's go ahead and get started on this video. For those of you that are new to the term loose parts and open-ended toys, that simply means that there are toys that don't have a suggested use or toys that don't come with directions. They are basically toys that your children can utilize and manipulate and play with in any sort of way that comes to mind. And it really does stress their imagination and their creativity that way. Now, what is Grap It? Grap It is Catalan for handful and it is suggestive of play with large quantities of undifferentiated objects. And these, as I mentioned earlier, are toys that don't have any directions or suggestive use. All of the materials are handmade. They are typically made of like beech wood or birch wood. They're all hand painted. They're all naturally dyed. And they also use non-toxic paints and finishes on all of the materials that Grapid creates. So let me go ahead and show you the collection that we have thus far. Um, I do have part of our collection inside of our home and those are the ones that I decided to display uh, vertically on shelves and I'll go ahead and insert a picture so that you can see. And um, the rest of the collection I have here in our playroom and I actually made this table specifically to hold all of our Grab It Loose toys. So let me go ahead and show you the ones that I have here. So these are called the Grab It Brots, B-R-O-T-S. And as you can see here, they come in an assortment of colors, basically every single color that you would find on a rainbow, as well as variations of those colors. So you'll see that some of the pastel colors are here as well. Um, these are really, really fun, and they kind of remind me of little robots or little bots, and that's perhaps where part of their name originated from. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But you are able to really see the grain come through, and like I mentioned earlier, these are all hand-dyed, and um, the texture on those is a lot of fun as well. Now these are called the Grappet Palos, and again, just like the brats, they do come in a, a, an assortment of beautiful colors. I would say that this collection has more of the pastel colors included, but either way, um, the colors are just very, very beautiful, and this is a lot softer to the touch, so my daughter really enjoys playing with these. So now we're coming along to the Grappet Mandala set. Now these are called the Grappet Mandala Cone Set, and I believe these are the orange cones. And these are a lot smoother to the touch. These are the Grappet Honeycomb Set, and these are some of my favorite. Now with the little ridges, they are a little bit more of a texture, so these are a lot of fun to hold and to play with. And they come in those three varying colors. Um, so from like lightest to darkest. So it's always a lot of fun to be able to um, find the different colors of them and sort them that way. Now these are the Grappet raindrops. And these, they look just like little raindrops. And they're really, really smooth to the touch. These are the Grappet mandala coins. And again, 
They are a decent size. I definitely wouldn't suggest them to like babies, but if you've got toddlers that no longer put things in their mouth, then those would be perfect for them. These are also part of the Grappet Mandala set, and I can't recall the name of these, but we like to use them as like little mini trees. And these are also really, really soft to the touch. So as we move along, you'll see that these are the little grappet mushrooms. And these and the honeycombs are my favorite. And they come in these varying tones. And these are just so much fun to be able to use in uh, a lot of our storytelling. Um, we also have like the little purple, what we call like the little purple eggs, and they come in these three different hues. So those are a lot of fun for matching activities as well. Now, these pretty pink ones are called the Grappet Mandala Flowers Set, and they comes in like the really light, almost white color, and then the lighter pink color, and then the darker pink color. And then these are the Grappet, I believe, mandala cones set in the color fire so these are all of the grappet mandala sets and i believe it comes in a set of 11 but you don't have to purchase the entire set as a whole you are able to purchase the individual sets if you prefer those now moving on these are the grappet i believe they're like the grappet marbles or just the grappet balls and these are incredibly smooth to the touch We've got the Grim balls, and those are a little bit rougher, so I actually prefer the Grappet ones to those. These are the Grappet coins in the varying colors, and these are incredibly smooth. And if you can see the detail, you can see the wood grain come through really, really nicely, and they're just incredibly, incredibly soft to the touch. These are the Grappet rings. Again, they come in all of the varying colors. I also have the Grappet coins with the numbers and we like to use this in a lot of like sorting activities or math activities, but these are also a lot of fun. We also have the Grappet little bowls and we love to be able to pair the little Grappet balls in the bowls or sometimes we'll put the little Tom Tens in there. Um, or she'll just sort some of the other little pieces inside. These are the little Tom Tens that I just mentioned, and I got them in the rainbow colors, and I also have their little individual um, like nesting little cups, so that's usually where we put them. And the last thing we have here is the Grappet insects, and these are the ones that they got for Christmas, so they love being able to make different types of stories along with these. And like I said, they are a decent size, especially these ladybug looking ones. And these are incredibly, incredibly smooth. So that last set over here is from Plant Toys, so it's not Grab It. Um, but the last thing that we have are the Grab It Rainbow Dishes. And we absolutely love these. We use them in a lot of like color sorting games. Um, they like to use them as little plates when they're doing a lot of their little recipes, like the ones that you have, uh, that you see here. But I keep all of the individual cards in this little tray and they play with them in relation to all of their little grab it toys. So uh, this is the collection that we have right now. And I decided to display them openly like this just because I feel like it beckons them more to come in and play. And then some of this collection I have inside of the house, but like I said, I do keep them up on shelves. But I just think this is just such a beautiful way to encourage them to come in and play on this table um, in whichever way that they want. So when you first order Grappa toys, they're going to come in these individual boxes in these little baggies. So make sure that you keep the baggies so that you're able to use them in other activities. But I do feel that they come really nicely packaged and very, very safe. So now we've come into our very first activity and this is just a number activity, a counting activity. So we like to use our little cards and I'll place them in individual baskets and then I will place uh, a couple of them down here and then my daughter is able to sort them into the individual baskets depending on the number. And this is also really good for um, 
really perfecting their fine motor skills because I did include the little wooden tongs for her to be able to kind of practice and um, strengthen her hand motion. So this is the second activity and this is just a color sorting activity. And as you can see, my children are utilizing the little rainbow dishes in order to sort out all of the colors. And this is perhaps one of their favorite uses for the little dishes. And they just kind of go around picking and choosing the individual colors and placing them on their little trays so that they can play with them on the floor on our rug. So this is the next activity and there it is by no means necessary for you to use the little uh, geometric shape cards. You can obviously either just print out some shapes on your own or they can just create it from memory. Um, but my children do like utilizing the cards, especially my littlest one, so that she's able to kind of follow along and learn her shapes that way. But it's really good for developing their fine motor skills and their hand and eye coordination because she does have to place the individual grab it loose parts on to the little spots on the card. But it's just a really, really fun way for them to be able to learn all of their shapes instead of just kind of writing them out or learning them from memory. So um, I believe these little cards, I picked them up from Etsy and I'll try and leave the link down below. But like I said, the cards are absolutely not necessary. You can 100% um, do this activity without the cards. So this is just a very simple sorting activity and all I did was uh, get these individual baskets, place at least one of the little grappa toys in each and that way my daughter knows where to separate all of them. And this is just a fun little simple activity for her to do. So this is perhaps one of our more unique activities and we are using our Holtz Tiger wooden animal figures for this next activity. So as you can see in this basket, I have a few loose parts and each of them symbolize something. So this first basket are air animals, water animals, and land animals. And on the bottom, these are for animals that are carnivores, animals that are herbivores, and animals that are omnivores. So all we did was separate all of the animals to the side and then my son is able to classify where these animals live as far as their environment and what they eat. So as you can see, the shark is a water animal and he is also a carnivore. The second animal is a land animal. That's why we use the little honeycomb and the cow is also a herbivore, so they eat plants. And the last one here was also a land animal, it's a T-Rex, and he is also a carnivore. So here my daughter is partaking in another counting activity, and this time we are utilizing the little cards. So it's perfect for her hand and eye coordination and also her fine motor skills and also like a color sorting activity as well because she has uh, matching the individual colors on the cards to the little grab it pieces. So this is just another really fun activity for her to do in order for her to really look at the difference as far as numbers and quantities and then also visually see the number on the little cards. So it's just another really fun activity for her to do for her to be able to learn her numbers. Now this is my son's favorite way of using the grab it toys and it is simply to follow the little recipe on the card. So with the card, he's able to identify all of the pieces as well as follow the amount of uh, quantities he is uh, allowed to use for each. So as you can see for the street corn, he requires three different ears of corn. He requires cheese and uh, you know other materials and ingredients in order to create this dish. But he just absolutely loves being able to utilize these cards and the grappa dishes to create his little recipe. So this is perhaps the more common way of being able to use the Grappet Mandala set, and that is simply to create 
a Grappet Mandala design. Um, my son is obviously just starting off with these materials, so the pictures that he is able to create are a lot more simple than, say, the more lavish display displays that you would find on Instagram. But he is able to incorporate his creativity and his artistic kind of viewpoint while utilizing all of these materials to create a picture of his own. So it's just so nice for them to be able to use all of these loose parts to create a picture and it's such a tangible material and it's just such a fun way of been, of him being able to kind of evolve through his um, artistry and I'm sure that his pictures will get even more and more complex the more that he continues to use all of these little materials. So for this next activity, my son is just following a simple pattern. So I usually start off the pattern for him and then he finishes them and then moves on to the next one. But again, it's just a fun and easy little way for him to be able to visualize the pattern, see the pattern, recognize the pattern, and then be able to follow along with the pattern on his own. So this next activity is also geared towards my son and it is just a simple math activity. So I'll usually switch up the center simple so it'll all um it'll be obviously a, an addition problem or a subtraction problem and he is currently learning multiplication um but he's still working on that. So he'll lay out the individual pieces um for the corresponding number so five pieces on the left uh, four pieces on the right and then he will count all of them and then he'll come up with the sum So it's just a very easy way for him to utilize math with the grab it parts Another pro uh, math project that you're able to do is the greater than and less than so I'll just set up a different quantity for each and then he'll utilize the little uh, alligator Mouth picture to be able to show me which one is the greater than and which one is the lesser quantity so this next activity is one that my son and my daughter both like to partake in, and it is simply creating a face out of all of the little grab it loose parts. So it's just a really fun way, especially for my daughter, to be able to identify all of the facial features like the eyes, nose, mouth, ears, teeth sometimes, um, hair, and so she'll use the grab it loose part in order to create um, all of these things on this little picture that I've printed out. And it's also a good way for them to be able to learn and identify all of the emotions. So as you can see, this is a happy face. So this character is obviously happy, but uh, sometimes my uh, daughter will be able to identify a sad face, a mad face, a surprised face. So it's just a really fun way for them to be able to kind of utilize that artistic viewpoint and designing and creating these little pictures. I love being able to see the different worlds that my son and daughter are able to create through these loose toys. And as you can see here, they are utilizing not just the Grappa toys, but also their Grimm's and their Holtz Tiger toys. So as you can see, they really pair off really, really well. And it almost seems like it's just one really big, beautiful collection, but it's just such a great way for them to be able to uh, tell a story with all of these little parts. So we are down to our final activity and that is simply a stacking activity. So my daughter is using the Grappet rings along with her Grappet Tom Tens and she just loves being able to hide the little Tom Tens in the little rings. So she'll just continue stacking them and stacking them and she'll also use the little Grappet um, the graphic coins and she'll stack those as well and it's also a fun way to be able to um, utilize the little graphic rainbow dishes because you are also able to stack those along with some of the other loose parts so just a simple stacking activity but it's really good for their hand and eye coordination and fine motor skills so these are my final thoughts um, in the end i actually really do like the graphic toys um, and as you can see, our collection kind of started with just getting two or three of them and we like them so much that we ended up incorporating a few more. 
into our playroom and into our home. I do believe that you do not need to have so many in your collection. I feel that the mandala is perhaps one of the most versatile and the most fun uh, for my children. And they're the ones that they gravitate more towards and they get the most use out of. So if there was just one grab it toy that I would suggest, it would be the grab it mandala. And you can actually purchase them um, individually. So you don't have to purchase the entire set as a whole. You could just purchase the ones that you like uh, the most. Now, if you are considering getting some of these grab it toys for somebody that's younger than a toddler, like perhaps introducing these to babies, I would suggest that you stay away from the smaller parts. So probably want to wait on the mandalas just because those parts are a lot smaller and could be easily swallowed. Um, but I would recommend perhaps steering towards the graphic coins, the ones with the numbers. I also do have the colored ones that look like uh, little cookies and my children like to utilize them that way as well. And then also the little figures because they are bigger. And like I said, they are naturally dyed um, uh, and they have, you know, non-toxic paint. So if your babies are putting them in their mouth as babies do, then they're perfectly safe. Also the little rings um, would be the ones that I would recommend. Um, but yeah, so that is basically my thoughts on the Grappa toys. My children absolutely love them. And that's it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to help out this small channel. And remember to ring that notification bell so that you are notified of when I post my upcoming video. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with that. If you guys have any further questions or suggestions on future videos, please leave them in the comments below. I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.